The real blind beer, the chef here. Taste these mustard greens. My cornbread in the oven. I'll get that out later. Mmm. 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 Y'all. These are some good greens. Now, if you say you can't cook mustard greens and you don't just follow what I just did. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that juice so good. Mm, mm, mm. Smoked meat makes a difference. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? my mustard greens I got them washed I've been washing about three four five times got the stems off of them I took them and put them in my trash bag it's still kind of wet I don't know I'm gonna not cook all these I might put some of these up because it's just me Let's see here I'm gonna show y'all how I do my mustard greens. With the, yeah, with the smoked turkey wings and the, the chicken broth and the onion, a little garlic. Y'all see my greens? I tell my brother Garden. My brother, my brother picked me some mustard greens. I'm gonna pick me some collard greens next week. All right, let me get everything started here. All right, and because I didn't wash them already and everything, I just go through them and I don't get no knife and cut them. I just take them and just, I'll say, how you say, I can't say put them in bite side pieces, but I just go through them and if they like that. See, there was some nice mustard greens. My brother grows good mustard greens. I just take it and I just, I take one leaf and make it into three. That's all I do, go through all of them. See, they're good and washed and they're fresh. Yeah, I just go through them. Or you can just take them and, you know, when you take them off the stem, just roll them and take the knife and cut them in, uh, what you call but you know, you know how this gonna cook, you know how this gonna cook down. It's like a lot in the bowl. But they gonna cook down. All right, blind bearded chef, why your mustard greens taste so good? Well, I'm about to show you. Bacon grease. I keep my bacon grease in a container. Smoked meat. Your smoked turkey wings. Mm -hmm. Your greens is always as good as you make your broth. What this is here? Chicken broth. Uh huh, uh huh. Onion powder. Where's the garlic powder? Onion powder. Garlic powder. Mm hmm. Crushed red pepper. Black pepper. Mm hmm. Slap your mama. But now slap your real mama. She gonna knock the shit out you. Hey, <laughs> hey. Pink Himalayan salt. All that's it. Mm hmm. Use it in moderation. Onion. Garlic. And of course, the greens. All right, let's get started. Oh, and I'm using my, I gotta show you my Christmas gift I'm using. I know we don't use it cook mustard greens and cast iron, but I'm trying my new Christmas gift on. This is a cast iron wok. See that? A cast iron wok with a glass top. So let me start off, y'all, by putting me some, some bacon, some bacon fat in there. Some bacon grease. So let me put about one, 
we'll say that's about we'll say that's about two tablespoons right there. Two tablespoons of bacon bacon grease. All right, that bacon grease then got hot. So what we about to do is about to saute down these onions. Pot. Oh, I'm gonna love this pot. I have a, a wok already, but I never had a cast iron before. Thank you, sister. I gotta make your cake for you. I gotta make your berry chantilly. I gotta make your berry chantilly cake for you. I'm gonna give me some juice out of this pot right here. Y'all yeah, about to see this pot a lot in some videos. This is my type of cooking right here, that's say. My type of cooking here. All right, let them let them um, onions right there get translucent. <laughs> Lord, if you want to smell one of the best smells in the world, and let me tell you something. I know everything not healthy what we eat, but we eat this in moderation. This ain't nothing we eat every day. But the best smell to me is bake is is um, onion sautéing down and bacon grease, baby. Ooh, when I tell you, now I got about three cloves. Of chopped garlic, I just roughly chop. Okay, let that saute down in there. Yeah, when you do greens, you get your mat. You want you want flavor. Y'all know I told y'all. Me as a blind man, I cook for flavors. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Well, you know, I just put that garlic in there, right? Now I'm gonna go in and put those. I'm gonna go and put those smoke on. I'm gonna put those smoked turkey wings in there too. Where I'm at, where I'm at, here I go. I'm putting the smoked turkey wings in there too. I'm gonna let them saute down a little bit in there. And then, watch what I do. Just watch what I do. Y'all wanna make some good greens? Watch what I do. Let's put that top on it for a little while. Just for a little bit, y'all. All right, and let me tell y'all something. I know everybody cooks their greens different. Mustard greens is like gumbo. Everybody cooks it different. All right, now that I got these, just saute down a little bit with the onions and stuff. All right. Add your chicken broth. Usually you want an equal part of chicken broth to water. So, that was one can of chicken broth. All right. And there's one can of water. All right, we must, we must stir this in here together. All right, let's season our water just a little bit. Cause remember, we can add too, but we can't take away. So I'm using pink Himalayan salt, which is the healthiest salt. I'm gonna put about a teaspoon. There we go. A teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Um, I'm gonna start up with me a teaspoon. Teaspoon of slap your mama. Mm hmm. Let me get this over here. Teaspoon slap your mama. I'm about to do me a few crushed. This is about a teaspoon. There we go. A crushed uh, red pepper flakes. Let's do about a teaspoon of onion powder. Let's do about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And what else I got over here? Let's do a little black pepper. A little fresh black pepper. That's enough. As I said, we can add two later. Is that everything on my left side? Let me see, let me see, let me see. 
Oh, and I have um, I have a teaspoon of sugar. That sugar, that's for you people that think that um, that think that mustard greens are bitter sometimes. Let's stir all this in. All right, y'all see all that goodness in that pot? We're about to put that top on there. And we're gonna let this simmer until those turkey wings get tender. Then we're gonna take those turkey wings out, put our greens in, and um, take the turkey wings off the, take the turkey meat off the bone and put it back in the greens. So we're gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes. All right. All right, let's look at all these good flavors coming together. Y'all see that? Let me smell it. Ooh, that smells good. I smell all that smoke flavor coming out of these turkey uh, wings. All right. Let's put it back over there and let it simmer till it get tender. All right, y'all. I hope I'm back in the pot because my camera had fell earlier. Uh, my turkey wings have been boiling for about 35 minutes. I added just a little more water to it. And they are tender. So I'm about to take them out of here. See how tender that is? Look, my fork going through it. Look. Tender, tender. So I'm about to take my meat out of here. And we about to put the greens in because we got our... We got our flavor in this pot. All this good flavor. I'm gonna make sure after a while, cause I'm about to, I gotta, uh, look, at that, look at that turkey wing. Look at that turkey wing breaking up. I mean, it is tender. Taking this meat out of the pot. Doing too bad for a blind man. I'm actually going right to the meat. We got some residue left in there. We can let it stay. Okay. Now let's put this. Let's put this to the side over here. Let me get my spoon and let me do a taste. Let me do a taste. Yeah. Let me go over here with a sink. Give me a taste. Mm. I don't need no more seasoning. Mm. Sure don't. You gotta remember that the um that the turkey wings <coughs> the turkey wings are smoked and seasoned also. So what I'm about to do is now where is my all right. Let's add some greens to this. Add some greens. I'll just put as i see how much that can fit. I'm gonna let these go on and wilt it down. Then I add some more. I can't tell you how many bunches this was because my brother, as y'all see, my brother just gave me a bag full. Put that in there. All right, I'm gonna put that much in there right there, y'all. Put the top on it and let the steam wilt it down. Then I'll put the rest in there. It'll all fit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take my turkey wings right here and get the meat off the bone. Let's see as they wilt it down. Enough to put the rest in. Yes. Yeah, I think I can put the rest in. It's not that much left. So I'll just fit them all in there. And you know, there's no particular time with this. You cook them down until they get tender. And when they get tender, you can add your meat up. 
Add your um, meat back to the pot, turn it off, and we're gonna taste these bad boys. But see, it all go by how you started with it. So see, it's soaking in. That's all the grease, that's all wrong. It's soaking in all that broth. And then you know, any any leafy greens is water, mainly water itself. So I'm about to stir all this in here. And I'm about to leave it alone undisturbed until it gets tender. So like I said I don't need to put no more seasoning in there. Where I did my top over here. All right. Gotta cook with love. Time, take your time with your food and cook with love, y'all. There we go. All right, we finna let them um, get tender. All right, y'all, let's take a look. They've been cooking down for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And see how they cook down? That's why you, that's why you gotta pick so many mustard greens. And they cook down to some around this fork right here and let me go see if it's tender all right y'all now that it's all cooked see that there go my greens you add the turkey add the turkey um add the turkey wings back to it and that is a wrap there go your mustard greens let's give it a taste all right let's taste y'all let's taste I told y'all your greens gonna be just as good as what you put in your broth, your liquid. It's kinda hot. 